Hello from SlideNerd and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In the last video, I was talking about the list view with images and we saw that there were three things. One, we need the data. Two, we need the adapter who's going to take that data and put it inside our view. Three, all those views are merged together and we finally get our list view or our grid view or whatever. So first in this video, we are going to set up the data that is needed. That means we are going to need images, we are going to need titles and we are not going to need descriptions. So these are this is what we are going to create in this uh, complete activity. Uh, we are going to have this title, description and this image for each row that you can see over here. So let's go ahead and prepare this data. These titles, maybe one, two, three, four, they can be put inside a string array. Same way with these descriptions. These images, they can be put inside a drawable folder inside our RES. So let's go and do that. So first, I'm going to go to uh, RES. As you can see over here, values. I'm going to go to strings.xml. Here, I'm going to create the string array by saying string array. Open close. I'm going to say name over here. I'm going to call this one as titles. So inside this, I just need to define those items. I'm going to say item over here. And here I will say Mimi 1. This is going to be our title. The same way, I'm going to go ahead, copy paste this entire item thing for the next nine Mimi titles. So at this point, we have our arrays for titles created. We need to create the same kind of array for descriptions. So I let me actually go ahead, copy paste this entire thing, paste it. I'm going to give this a different name, call it descriptions. Now this name is the way through which I can refer to this array inside my Java code here inside main activity. So here inside my item, I'm going to change this uh, text to saying this is a description one. And let me go ahead and actually do that for all the remaining descriptions. All right. So at this point, if you guys notice, I have my string array with the name equals to descriptions that contains all my description text over here and have my titles. The next thing I need is those images, which we saw. So for that, we can put those images inside the RES drawable folder or we can actually read them from the SD card. But for now, I'm going to go here, put them inside the drawable RES folder by saying new. I'm going to make a package here. I will call that folder as drawable. Click OK. So let me actually copy 10 images from my desktop inside this folder. All right. So at this point, I have 10 images copied to my clipboard. I'm going to go here to the drawable, right click, click paste. And it will say blah 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 all right click ok and there you go one two three four all those images are here all right so at this point the basic part about getting the data set up has been done in the next video or the next part i'm going to show you how to bring this arrays and these images inside our java code in the meantime if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next part have a nice day